Well, I decided not to do a special projects pack this week, just in case an update of some sort dropped, and it looks like that was a good decision, because not only is it an update, uh, a teaser, of course, as usual from Kaz's Twitter in the form of three silhouettes, but they are one hell of a trio, because one of these in particular is a car which, if I haven't predicted it, I've certainly talked about it plenty of times in terms of being such an obvious choice to bring back, and even though it's not first in line to talk about from left to right, we've got to talk about it first. The Toyota GT1 is coming back, the TS20, as I said, one of the most iconic cars of all Gran Turismo's history in a couple of different forms. We've technically had, what, four different versions? We've had the Stealth, the road car, the earlier, what was it, Esso Ultra Flow, I think, with the, the streaky white paint, and then this version, which I've slapped an image of with a much more iconic blocky red and white look. One of the most beautiful Le Mans cars of all time, in my opinion. Of course, almost a Le Mans winner, but thanks to a tyre blowout, it didn't win, even though it was leading the race, I think in 1998, if I recall correctly. I'm really looking forward, as I'm sure many are, to making a fake road version using the livery editor. That's going to be a fantastic thing to use. It'll be interesting to see how it compares to some of the other cars, and of course this era of the later 90s and early 2000s has been a bit overlooked. Stuff like the R390 and various other iconic cars from the series haven't really been there. They've kind of skipped over those in favour of some of the later LMP1s, like for example the Peugeot 908 and the Audi R18, and then some of the earlier Group Cs like the Mazda 787B. There are still some notable ones which aren't in there, but this is a fantastic addition. I'm so looking forward to getting my hands on this one. Another one, to go back to the right order of left to right, is of course a car that we did know was coming. In fact, funnily enough, the only one out of these three, which was in the leaked data mining list, the Audi R8 V10. The facelift version, of course, this is another one of those cars like the, I believe, BMW M6, which I seem to recall was in the leaked list, and certainly the Cayman GT4, which of course was brought to the game already, wherein it's a very obvious choice. Having that road-going version makes a lot of sense, and of course more recently we had stuff like the Audi TT, which technically, you know, there already was a road-going version of the TT, but these kind of road and racing variants, it makes a lot of sense to have both. This one, again, makes all the sense in the world. The R8 was only featured in its older form, which is still a gorgeous car. My favourite version, to be honest, is the original R8, but this one, of course, will be a fan favourite for sure. And then the one which is a complete surprise to me, I don't recall ever really talking about this one having much of a chance of coming to the game, and it's not really going to have that many rivals, which is kind of a downside, but at the same time with performance like this, and certainly from this brand, I think it will get plenty of use from many players. What certainly appears to be a Lamborghini Urus. That's going to be a hell of a thing to use in Gran Turismo. Of course you can make all the it's an Audi underneath jokes, but at the end of the day, Audi or not, it is a tremendously quick car. And after all, the Audi R8 has Lamborghini underpinnings as well, or vice versa, so it still goes to show that you can have a hell of a car either way, regardless of what badge it's wearing. So I'm actually really, really keen to see what the Urus is going to be like. Of course the Toyota is the star of the show. No word yet, as usual, it's far too early to say about a track. This would be a pretty cool time to bring a track to the game as well. There are only a couple of circuits which were leaked, which haven't been brought in yet. A couple of the ones which were leaked have arrived, such as, of course, uh, Road Atlanta, but a couple still haven't, such as, I believe, Red Rock Valley. I seem to recall some chatter about Silverstone, if I remember correctly, uh, a while back. I think I covered that probably the best part of a year ago now, but it will be very interesting to see if a circuit does arrive. I'm not necessarily going to expect it, because we've expected it a couple of months in a row. You could argue that means it should arrive now, which, yeah, I, I would tend to agree, but that doesn't mean it will. I'm really keen to see what the Toyota can do. Certainly looking forward to the Lamborghini. For me, I don't really care so much about the Audi R8, but if nothing else, you know it's going to be pretty damn quick. So obviously, as usual, we will presumably get the update itself on Thursday, and probably the trailer on Wednesday. So stick around at those times on the channel, and of course in the meantime, I'll still be putting up other content as well. And of course, drop your predictions down below if you think that they could be different. But definitely stick around on the channel for more content regarding this new update, and I'll see you then. But for now, thanks for watching.